world away from us. All right, folks, another good example of lick number five, Jimmy playing low. Uh, comes at Crossroads of Love at five minutes and one second. He's in the ninth position again, and he plays this. <laughs> Try that again. All right, so this uh, is really like two parts. Think of it. We got the turnaround. And I didn't even have to include this because mainly this section is Jimmy playing down low. But it sounds so great coming off of the turnaround, which is like a, a vamped up, you know, high energy move where he goes. <laughs> okay, then he starts the main focus of playing down low is here. Nice and gentle and quiet. Then he builds. Okay, so it's the contrast of the dynamics that makes it so great. Because he set, if I was to just start from here, right? You'd be like, well, wait, I can't really hear. Why is he playing it so soft? It's, it's like it's coming off of the other thing that makes it so great, you know? So the high energy of the turnaround, because there was the turnaround here. This is a turnaround. Right there. Okay, and then we're going to start at the top, and he brings it back down. Okay, so what we're going to do is this, this turnaround, I don't know if, we, if I even went over it before. I think I might have. Unless it was just something similar, because, you know, the last lick we did, I said it's very unique what Jimmy played, this this one with the, you know, that whole thing, um, that was pretty unique, he didn't really do that in any other song like that, but this turnaround, Is, that is textbook Jimmy, you know. That's that's one of his stock moves, you know. You hear that? You got the the king thing idea, right? And then also this it's one of Jimmy's main moves. Um, so let's put it together. Let's show you how he does that. Basically, he starts with the root. Two flat sevens back to the root. It's kind of swaying. This has got like a, a nice feel. It's like a swaying back and forth. Minor third root, minor third. Then he belts this out. Right? Then he follows that with. Minor third root pull off to the flat seven, fifth on the A string, flat seven hammer in the root pick in the root. We've seen that before. I think I picked it. I picked those last two roots. So it's minor third root. Pull off to the flat seven. Up pick with the for the fifth. Uh, down pick for the flat seven. Up pick for the root 
down pick for the root. So you end it on the down. That that second root is bam, it's on it. That's why it feels natural to me to hit it on the down stroke. Then you play the actual turn is minor third root pull off flat seven upstroke fifth down fifth so in the similar way same way the second fifth is on a down where the where the five chord is see that We got now we start our playing down row low playing down low it starts fifth to fourth and we get we get the dyna the the touch goes down right it's not as in, in it's quieter, it's softer. The dynamics go down. Now this part, it's that's fifth to fourth. Now we go fourth minor third root. That is very, very quiet. It's almost not audible. It's just like touching it. It's like it's like a whisper. Okay, so again we're coming out. Now he he does this move like in the last lick. Right? Remember that? Right, but he just plays it real quick. Well, you know, like it's just said once. And he goes. I'm using my right hand to muffle a little bit, you know, so the, the notes don't ring too much. Not. You know? So again. So it's fourth side to fifth root. Fourth minor third, fourth fourth minor third root. I think that's fourth fourth minor third root. Okay. Right. Now we go up. So that is minor third, fourth, fifth, flat seven, root, minor third and fifth, that's the G and the B strings. Now, with the dynamics again, <laughs> my dynamics cracking up here, with the dynamics, you're going you're getting a little louder now. And right here, you're really digging in. So again. Think around the flat seven, you could really turn up the volume. So it, not turn it up, but really dig in. So that that's a great example of just you know the essence of blues guitar is again it's not like so much theoretical knowledge and you know like in jazz you're playing colorful different notes to the chords and everything this is just pentatonic, minor pentatonic, but done with such touch. 
such such detail to each note the dynamics folks it's beautiful you know it's it's just got that it's like the in terms of harmonic structure it's like one it's just a pentatonic scale whoop de do right but it's the way it's played the emotion that's there behind those notes <laughs> That's, that's what you get from these lessons, the way it's played, folks, the way you're playing something. All right, let me get going. Dinner time.